I'm most excited about continuing to be able to mentor the, the future generation of dancers and sharing my love and passion with all my students. And it's kind of a bizarre feeling. Um, to be honest, it wasn't my original plan growing up. I always thought I'd be a professional dancer. And um, as I grew up, dreams changed and here I am. It became a dream to carry on this legacy and honor Cindy and all of the hard work she's put into building this studio. Legacy in terms of the dance studio for me is taking Cindy's original thoughts, hopes, and dreams for the studio and, and her body of work and still cultivating that and honoring that um, while also trying to expand the vision, grow, and be able to pass that on to the future generations. The top three things that I've learned from Cindy when it comes to directing or choreographing, wor working with the students is um, patience, positivity, and kindness. <laughs> Coming off of 2020 and 2021 um, and the pandemic where the arts really suffered, uh, we were able to continue classes, but not being able to perform, that's a large part of why we do what we do. And uh, I've always kind of been a class rat myself, but I know that a lot of younger dancers get into taking class because they want to perform. So my biggest goal is getting back into those regular performances and maybe even trying to expand the opportunities to perform and to really try and foster and cultivate um, more connection with our community and find the, the people out there that, that want to try dance, that, that fall in love with dance and want to come take a class. Yes, keeping the tradition and magic of the holiday season alive is extremely important to me. And having done Nutcracker uh, myself for over 20 years, um, I think it's important that we carry on that tradition and create that magic for future generations. This year, Civic Dance Center will celebrate its 45th annual Nutcracker, and it's always an exciting time of year. We usually have alumni that come back to watch the production, and it has become a community staple and tradition in the holiday season. And it's one of the most common stories we hear that I came to see the Nutcracker and it made me want to be a dancer. We create this family dynamic and it becomes this really safe place that we look forward to coming to every day. We spend multiple hours here every day, especially on the weekends when we're getting into rehearsals. There are no friends like your dance friends. When you spend these hours in class and rehearsal, you're, you're literally sweating, noticing your friends and your own personal triumphs and failures and experiencing that together just creates a really unique bond. And I think it's important that we have developed a space that feels safe and that our students look forward to coming to it. and myself as a teacher and I know other teachers feel that way as well. We are all very excited to always come in and do the work that we love. Over the last two years I've been going through the American Ballet Theater National Teacher Curriculum Training. Up to this point I'm a certified teacher through level five and I was drawn to their program because it had a very well-rounded um, group of professionals 
that built their curriculum. They had a medical advisory board for injury prevention and proper way of training. They had a psychiatrist that gave expertise on child development and considered the French, Italian, and Russian technique of ballet um, to create a very well-rounded program that focuses on training everybody, not just gifted students. I'm excited to bring what I've learned from this training to the teachers and students in a very holistic way. I think it can just only enhance and strengthen the curriculum we're using now.